Simi. Julia, Ro Julia Morales, rather, not Robert. She's not in the ballpark today. Same Julia here, Morales has a chance to uh, <laughs> chat with one of the guys vying for a spot in the bullpen. That's right. Josh Zide with me, who's already fearing the sunflower seeds that will be coming his way. And you've been watching Oberholzer this game as he allows another hit. But what have you seen from him so far as we uh, all kind of watch the guy that was named the number three starter for the Astros? Obi's a great pitcher. You know, he's going to throw a lot of strikes. And, you know, what I've noticed is he's not really getting behind hitters, but, you know, he's throwing his, his, the ball in the zone. You know, you'd rather see anybody, especially in spring training, give up hits over walks. So, you know, you gotta be, you got to appreciate that. But, you know, he's doing a good job of, you know, getting quick outs after, you know, giving up runs. So you can only appreciate that a little bit more. Josh keeping his composure as the bubble gum and seeds come. A question about you and your spring so far. You've had a couple of really great outings. We saw one just as recent as yesterday. How do you feel at this point? I feel pretty good. You know, I really like the sunflower seed shower that I'm getting, but, you know, I feel really good physically and, you know, you have to appreciate being able to, you know, throw them on the strike zone and, you know, get early outs. But, you know, I'm always looking to improve and get better and working with Strom and, you know, listening to Bo's, you know, advice. You know, it's always nice. He was talking about how he liked the fact that you were throwing strikes on the first pitch. Is that something that you're really focusing on right now? Yeah. You know, to be a successful pitcher in the major leagues, you have to be able to throw strike one. And, you know, these guys are good enough where even if you throw strike one, strike two, you know, has to be an unbelievable pitch. And, you know, anytime you can give yourself an advantage, you have to, you have to attack the zone. There's no getting comfortable around here with all the jobs open with all these pitchers. Uh, how does everyone feel right now? I feel pretty cold. You know, I feel <laughs> ice cold, but, you know, you love competition. You know, it makes you work, you know, every bit harder. and It makes you appreciate, you know, the opportunities you get last year. And, you know, you really want to try hard. You know, you want to make the team. But, you know, where you start the year in April isn't where you end the year in September. So, you know, there's always opportunity. Do you like the competition? And is it, be is it maybe a little bit better than it was at this point last year? Do you notice a difference? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot more competition than there was last year. But what I've noticed more is, you know, Chad and Matt for me especially have been really good teachers and really good coaches and you know that's all I can hope for you know last year we didn't have a, a huge veteran presence and and this year you know we have those guys that can you know teach us how to you know what are the right pitches to throw in the right situations and you know how to get guys out who've been around the major leagues for a while you know scouting reports are one thing but when you hear it from the source it's a lot better. What have you noticed about the new pitching coach Brent Strom what is he really working on with you guys? He's really working on mechanics like getting you know working on fine-tuning each individual pitcher on a mechanics basis you know he's trying to maximize what we throw trying to get us to throw as hard as we can trying to put as much spin rotation on our slider and our changeup and just being the most successful pitcher we can be Ash, I'm going to send it up to you unless you have anything for Josh side. Well, you guys are great down there. You keep your focus well under the onslaught of a seed shower, and I, that's just good work. And the cold water. I yeah. did notice that. The, the small bath of water that he got. <laughs> Much better than a Gatorade bath, Lower but, bath. <laughs> but yeah. it's still cold. Well, a big congratulations to Josh, and he's been throwing well, and that's uh, that's the key this time of the spring, no doubt about it. Two outs.